Alright, this is Calibos, and we're playing Beyond the Skies. I'm picking up exactly where we left off, like, literally seconds later. It took me about 30 seconds to process the video and stuff. I haven't put it up, but we'll see. So, now we need a catalyst chamber. So we're going to require a compass, we're going to require a mechanical core, because we require lots of these. Uh, we're going to require silver plates, so let's hop up and make some silver plates. Uh, silver. One, two. Pop these bad boys in here, and let's look and see what the other one requires. So, Ignum Reactor. Now, I'm not going to play with the Ignum Reactor much, because I don't really see a reason to. Um, as I said, Embers is really cool, visually speaking, and I, I approve of that heartily. Thematically, you know, I'll give it a a 9 out of 10. But it doesn't actually do a lot that we're not already doing. So. Catalyst chamber. Weird. It is the catalysis chamber that we're working on. Just wasn't sure for a second there. So we've got this, and now we need the Ignum whatever. Ignum reactor. So that's going to require a wildfire core, which is going to require an ancient mode of core, and some stuff. All right. So I think we can now make the ancient mode of cores. So archaic bricks and some ember shards. Archaic bricks we can make with... As long as we have one, we can make more. That's good to know. So I think we have at least one archaic brick. We have two. So that's super handy. We're going to run down to the bottom. This is going to take a little bit of crafting. Alright. So. First we'll make some archaic bricks. Archaic bricks. So it's going to require clay and soul sand. And four to eight Dawnstone. So clay. Uh, who am I kidding? Soul sand. So we need clay in the sides, two, and then we need soul sand in the other side. Do you, do you mind, sir? Then we put the brick in the middle, and then we're going to put four ash piles here, and then fire it. And then fire it. There we go. Hey, that wasn't me. He he attacked me. He got all weird and stuff. So according to this, we needed to be eight. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Wow, that was like it's just max. That's crazy. You know, it's kind of a good thing that we had two because if we had fewer than that, we would have had to have been perfect the first try. All right. But this should give us five. So we missed it. Okay, whatever. So again, soul sand, soul sand. And then clay, clay. And these on the top. Turn that off really quick so we don't waste all of our stuff. Pop that in the middle, and now we turn it on. At which point it will fire the moment it has power. There we go. So now if we want to make a core, which we're going to need, it's an ancient core. Ancient, of course. So we need an ember shard and four bricks. So that, and then we're going to need what? Ancient motor core. So we're going to need, I'm going to take a wild guess that it's going to be 32. Because everything has been max so far. Everything. Pop that onto the Dawnstone pillar. Fire it up. Seven. Okay. So it was off by seven, and we put in 32, which was the max. So it would have been 25. All right. So 25. We'll pop that into the middle one. Let's, uh, let's chuck these really quick. Um, one, two, three, four, one of these small ones, and we're going to have to make some more bricks, and everybody cover your eyes, lasers, and fire! That's good timing. Turn that off again. Ancient mode of core. So, mode of core was 25. 
Don Stone. That's the only one. So, all right. So now we have the motive core, and we're trying to make the ignim thing. Ignim, which requires the wildfire core, which is copper plates, ember crystal cluster. So we're probably going to need a second motive core, so which means we're going to need some more bricks. But at least now we have our numbers. So... there and fire because we need the first one to screw up and then we need the second one to actually craft so that gives us this and now we're going to turn that off because we like to have power later so we'll say one two three Four. We need one of these. And, uh, and that. And then it needs, what is that, 25? And there. Man, this is super exciting, isn't it? Super exciting. Turn that off so it charges faster. did it right. So now we have to make two wildfire cores. So we'll need two copper plates. So let's, uh, let's make some copper plates. Give us the thing. Ah, monkeys. There we go. Hmm. I wonder if these are... These must be ore dictionaries, right? have to be or dictionary. There's no way that it's going to give me that and not be or dictionary. So copper plate on one side, two dawn stone, inventory slightly. So we'll try it once with these and then if there's a problem we'll we'll do the other one. So we are making the ignum reactor. The ignum reactor which requires the wildfire cores. So ancient mode of cores in the middle, copper plate, crystal. in the middle.
crystal, and then I think it's Dawnstone. 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 And then it requires uh, 32 and 24. So let's get some ash really quick. So, which aspects? So it's 32, 24. Confirm again, just in case. 32, 24. So let's fire this off and see what happens. Two. Nothing. Okay, so it doesn't like the plates, I'm guessing. Oops. So I thought that it might not. doesn't like the fact that I've put all of the ingredients in there. Is that off? Okay. And that would be my stupid. Oops, stay there. You know, sometimes that's helpful and sometimes that's a pain. Give it a couple seconds to fire. There we go. So it was the fact that I doubled up the ingredients. I wasn't even thinking about it. I just wasn't thinking. That's kind of a major failing of mine is sometimes I just don't think. So clearly we failed. Iron is three, silver is one. So if we look at the recipe, so iron, so it would be 35, 25. So these are the recipes. So thirty-five twenty-five Dawnstone Dawnstone Core Cluster Now we fire it. Uh, turn that off. Man, I hope we got this right because I would, I would hate to uh, have to to go through that entire process again. It's kind of grindy. Probably would be less grindy if we had a traditional mob spawner for. Uh, to collect like the uh, ember stuff because we wouldn't have to make the cores. All right, so we've got a wildfire core. Uh, so let's do that. Wild fire and it's uh, thirty-five and twenty-five. Allergies. They're great. Uh, 
hopefully I can uh, cut that out without butchering things. So now we're trying to make the ignim. And we've got an ignim reactor. So that actually completes all of embers. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Now I can do more in embers if people have questions. I can help come up with some of the answers. I can't promise that I'll have the answers, but I am somewhat familiar with the mod. Uh, so I will, I will certainly do what I can. My, my setup is, is not super pretty. But it works. Uh, oh, let's. Okay, so I'm not. I'm not worried about running out of stuff. So let's do this and see how big we can get it to go. There. There is a point where it simply doesn't get any bigger. And it's a million something or other. Yep, that's the point. So, at a uh, million four hundred and forty thousand, uh, it doesn't get any bigger. So this is the largest it gets. Um, like I said, uh, this is one of my favorite things in the mod, and I will build this even when I don't have to, because I can. Let's lock this. So we're going to pretty much leave all of this going. I, I have no reason not to, and we may run into something later on that requires it. Um, looks like Mithril has been turned off, so I'm not really worried about Mithril. And Dawnstone, we can make ingots and melt it down, so we no longer need the uh, uh, centrifugal whatever it is uh, to alloy. So, yeah, like this is this is all we really need of the entire thing is, you know, the bores. Uh, we don't actually even need this. Uh, uh, the bores, the pedestal, uh, the beam cannon, the stamp. I'm honestly, we don't need the stamps anymore because we've got all the aspects and that was the only thing that we couldn't make upstairs so yeah there we go clean this right up Um, technically we don't even need this. We can just have it coming straight off of the, uh... Yeah, we can just have it go straight off of the, uh the giant battery. So this is it. That's all we need. Um, I think that we are good. Um, and there's our friendly neighborhood ding to show us that the episode is over. 
so let's head up to the top. Uh, we'll stop the rain really quick. Oops, one too funny. Uh, what else? Now, I don't want to get into this until we have uh, environmental tech done. Do we have environmental tech in this one? Yeah, we do. So, in order to get to... In order to get up here, we're going to need... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, nether stars, lots of nether stars, roughly 93 nether stars. Uh, and that's just for this. So this will probably require another 93. Three, four, five. So that's going to be the sixth tier. Yeah. Maybe I only know about the fifth tier. Interesting. So, yeah, that's the plan is we need to. Because, I mean, we've got enough soul sand here. Um, so, our next step is going to be with their skeleton skulls. So we can make those. Um, without too much difficulty. So if we really want to, we can just make mob chunks and do it the mystical agriculture route. I'm not sure if that's the way that I want to go. But it's certainly it's certainly a thing that we could manage. Um, so we'll uh, we'll think about that. So in the meantime, thanks for coming. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Some questions, comments, concerns can go below. If you like the episode, leave a like. You know, the usual spiel. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys later.